Good day everyone, thank you for tuning in. We have a profile video. Today we're looking at my Sun Microsystems Sunray 2. Not Sunray 2 FS, just a Sunray 2 thin client. Or as I like to call them, dumb terminal. We'll get into that shortly. The other reason they're called thin clients too or at least by me, is they're very thin. About half an inch thick by about six inches high. Or seven inches high nearly. There you go. That's it there. On the front, microphone, headphones, and line in. A USB 1.1 port. Sun logo. Caution, error, and all good LED. And then our smart card reader. On the back, well, yeah, minimal as well. We have a power port there, another USB port, 10100 NIC, our lock, security lock, the DVI I uh, graphics. Now, the resolution on this maximum is 1600 by 1200 at 32 bit color depth. And then an RS-232 serial port. There's not much to them. Personally, I don't know a lot about the architecture of these things. Um, mainly because I, you know, I, I never really dealt with them. But it was recommended to me at the time that if I'm going to get the e-server, I should probably get one of these as well. So I, I got both. Now these aren't exactly rip-roaringly quick. They can have anywhere, I believe, between 16 and 32 meg of onboard memory. And a, uh, what's called a RMI AU1550 processor. Now I don't know, I'll, I'll admit, I'm no idea. But the processor is clocked at 333 megs. So it's obviously very close to an Ultra Spark 2, maybe. Or maybe Ultra Spark 1. Sun for you. So I took the suggestion to get this. Now, the idea behind this is, is you would, as I said, if space is a premium, you know, look at the footprint. It doesn't take up much room. And you know, I've just got a Dell keyboard and a Mac mouse. These use, I believe, what's called the VNC protocol to connect this to a virtual server or virtual desktop server. I apologise, virtual desktop server. So, you know, your Linuxes, your Solaris's. Um, I have seen on YouTube Windows on these, a virtual Windows environment. I don't know how to do that. Okay. I've never really used one of these, so setting them up is going to be a learning curve. Uh, and it won't be a relearning curve like it is with the e-server, it'll be a new learning curve. So as I said, there's not much to them. Um, mainly the thing is, is that you'd access this uh, to do your work on. So, you know, say you've got a, a Solaris... Um, enterprise server um, you have your security smart card you plug that in you turn this on now you'll notice there's no power on or power off you simply just plug the power plug straight into the back of it and uh, I'll do that now and you can have a look at it start up now the start up well there's not much to it I'll find the bloody there it is I've got it yep I've got it as I said there's not much really to it that's it that's the whole startup. Now what you'll see here, is you'll see we've got an error. So it's picked up a DHCP from my Windows domain server, but it doesn't know what to do from there. And that's because I haven't set anything up like that. This is purely going to be connected to my e-server once I can get that running. And so I'll interact with, with the desktop or whatever I decide to do, I'll do it with this. Now, as I said, I've seen Windows on these. Um, 
I've never used Windows on them, but I have seen on YouTube ways of setting up a virtual Windows client using these. So I suppose if you if if you want to, you can go down that road. I wouldn't I wouldn't do it myself, but you could go down that road if you wish. These are um, they're, they're a very basic unit, um, and what you do is, as I said, you plug your keyboard and your mouse into it. You plug your smart card into it, and you would connect to the virtual desktop, and then you'd use it as a normal computer. So. You know, you want to open YouTube up or something, you'd have your headphones in that plug there. And, you know, or if you're, if you're doing video conferencing, you know, you've got your headphones and your microphone there. And um, you can video conference through them. So a pretty nifty little unit, really. They, they really are a nifty little unit. So what I've decided to go and do is... I'm going to have another play with Debian. Now, um, I'm currently installing it at the moment in Workstation. Um, I've got this Workstation 12 to have a play with, and uh, I said to my friend that I'd be extremely interested in um, in buying it. If you want to watch the review on it, there is a video under the product reviews playlist to go and have a look at. So the plan here will be, is I'm going to have a play with Debian. And then I'm going to try and be a smart ass and see if I can get this to boot into Debian and set up a virtual desktop um, or virtual environment. But as I said, these use the VNC protocol. So if you're running Solaris, you would set it all up so this would connect to a virtual user within Solaris. And there it is. And you'd interact with the operating system. So that's about it pretty quick profile on a thin client but I tend to call these and I know I'm going to get harassed I know I'm going to be told I don't know what I'm talking about I don't really fucking care half the time I call these dumb terminals now I know they're not like an original dumb terminal like you know a Dynix you know back when libraries um, I don't know about the rest of the world but here in Australia some of our public libraries had Dynix catalogs and you know, you'd have your old green monochrome screen that's about, I don't know, what, four or five inches big. And it was Dynex, which is like Unix. Um, and it'd be just data-based. Um, they were called dumb terminals, but I tend to call these things dumb terminals as well, even though I know the correct term's thin client, because without any type of network interaction, these things are useless. And as, as seen here, I mean, as I said, it's picking up a DHCP from my um, from my uh, Windows server, but because it doesn't know what to do, it's not letting me in. Uh, it's got the error 27B. So um, these would I, I've seen these in businesses before, and what they are is basically, as I said, you know, you, you interact with a virtual desktop. They are a client. They're a virtual desktop client. So. You know, as I said, you'd connect these into your network and the user logs in either using a smart card or a, um, a user profile and, and password. Anyway, pretty quick profile video this one, only because there's not much actually to it, really, when you think about it. Anyhow, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.